Hi students, this is Mahesh Reddy. In this class, I am going to deal about classifications of embedded systems. Classifications of embedded system means how we are, can divide embedded systems into different categories or how we can differentiate embedded systems depending upon the categories. See here. Classifications. The embedded systems can be classified into different categories based on the following criteria. What is the first one? First, based on the generation. Based on the generation means that it belongs to first generation or second generation, third generation or fourth generation. This is based on the generation. We can divide embedded systems based on the generation. Next, based on the complexity. Complexity means whether they belong to the small scale industry or medium scale or large scale. That is based on the complexity. We can divide based on the complexity. Hereafter, based on the functionality and performance requirements that is whether they are standalone systems or they are real time systems otherwise they are network appliances like this we can divide embedded systems based on the functionality and their performance requirements or mobile devices then let us see based on the generation coming to based on the generation the first one is the first generation these first generation embedded systems are built around 8 bit microprocessors like 8085 and some Z80 microprocessors. If they are built around these 8 bit microprocessors, then they are said to be, they are come under first generation embedded systems. Understand? See, these are simple in hardware circuit, very simple to implement. With firmware developed in assembly code. Here, firmware developed in assembly code. Only we use off course. For building the applications and for example the digital telephone keypads stepper motor control units etc these all come under the first generation embedded systems next second generation and coming to the second generation they are built around 16 bit microprocessors and 8 bit microcontrollers see here first generation microcontrollers are built around 8 bit microprocessors 8 bit microprocessors are used here microcontrollers are not used in first generation but coming to second generation here 16 bit microprocessors are used and 8 bit microcontrollers are used see here they are more complex and powerful than first generation microprocessors and microcontrollers understand they are powerful than first generation microprocessors then for example Data acquisition system DAS comes under the second generation. And SCADA, so supervisory control and data acquisition systems also comes under the second generation embedded systems. Next, third generation. In coming to the third generation, these are built around 32 bit microprocessors and 16 bit microcontrollers. Observe here, first generation built around 8 bit microprocessors second generation 16 bit microprocessors and 8 bit microcontrollers and coming to third generation these are built around 32 bit microprocessors and 16 bit microcontrollers and a new concept of application and domain specific processor controllers like dsp and asics are built in this third generation embedded systems application specific ASIC. ASIC means application specific ICs and your digital signal process comes under this category. Which category? Third generation. These are built for specific application ICs. Here code cannot be changed. In ASIC, if you build code once, it should not be changed forever. Those are called as an ASICs. These are built, uh, these are come under third generation. For example, robotics, media, industrial and process control networking, etc. Here we are used. Next, fourth generation. And coming to fourth generation, these are built around 64 bit microprocessors and 32 bit microcontrollers. Built around 64 bit microprocessors and 32 bit microcontrollers. Presently, we are using, we are in this generation, fourth generation. And here, the concept of system on chip, SOC, system on chip. Everything is laid on the chip only. System on chip is used 
reconfigure process comma multiple process are used now we are using no dual code process quad core this is a command that multi code process in fourth generation multi code process are used and high performance tight integration and very powerful compared to other generation microprocessors and microcontrollers for example your smartphones comes under fourth generation for you and mobile internet devices wifi wifi modules these are comes under the fourth generation next based on the complexity then based on the complexity we can divide into small scale medium scale and large scale and coming to small scale simple applications where performance requirements are not time critical comes under the small scale means these are not time critical timing constraints are not the matter understand performance requirements are also not time critical if there are some delays we did not consider that delays in small scale these built around low performance and low cost that means these are built around 8 bit or 16 bit microprocessor microcontrollers see they are small scale in small scale performance requirements are not time critical we did not consider performance requirements and these built around 8 bit or 16 bit microprocessors and microcontrollers for example electronic toys if there is some delay in moving of electronic toy there is no problem no that's why performance requirement is not time critical and these are also small scale so they are built around 8 bit or 16 bit microprocessors and microcontrollers next medium scale coming to medium scale these are slightly complex in hardware compared to small scale and firmware requirements are also critical here these are built around medium performance and low cost 16 bit or 32 bit microprocessor microcontrollers here 16 bit and 32 bit microprocessor controllers are used here in medium scale and see this usually contain embedded operating system it contains real time os real time os means real time linux or real time windows vxos these are all comes under real time os here real time operating systems are used in medium scale embedded systems for functionality next for example industrial applications monitoring and control of manufacturing equipment etc these all comes under the industrial equipment mainly comes under the medium scale next based on the complexity in coming to complexity large scale comes under the third third category based on complexity and high complex hardware and firmware is used here in large scale hardware and firmware is highly complex here in large scale and these built around 32 or 64 bit risk microprocessor reduced instruction set computer microprocessor and microcontrollers are used here in large scale because the firmware and hardware requirements are critical here complex or pldis programmable logic devices or system on chip devices or multiple process all these comes under the large scale here response time is time critical response time is time critical means code should be executed in fixed amount of time only otherwise any hazard occurs if there is any delay means that will affect some other some human life or something that is called time critical these all comes under the real time real time embedded applications so response time is time critical in large scale for example mission critical applications like aircraft operating and control systems aircraft operating and control systems is a time critical system if anything fails means there is a loss in huge amount of money or human life so these are all time critical or electric power systems are also time critical this comes under the large scale understand next next what is the remaining based on the functionality and performance requirements and based on the functionality and performance requirements we can divide into standalone embedded systems 
real time systems adversary information appliances and mobile devices these four comes under the classifications based on functionality and performance requirements so the first one stand alone embedded system stand alone so the name indicates stand alone means stand alone alone means single they works independently if your embedded system working independently without depending upon any other system then it is called as a stand alone system understand it does not depend on other devices for example first c as the name implies it works stand alone mode okay c here they take inputs process them and produce the outputs but does not depend upon the others here the inputs may be electrical signal from transducers the sensors a command from human being such as pressing of a button or outputs can be electrical signals to drive another system a led display lcd display dc motors etc many embedded systems in consumer electronics automobiles process control manufacturing units fall under this category many comes under stand alone system for example see here example digital camera digital camera is a stand alone system works independently by pressing a button it will take a snapshot it works independently next air condition it works independently if you switch on means it will cool the room it works independently refrigerator works independently and microwave ones also work independently these all comes under the stand alone embedded systems they works independently they do not depend upon the other devices for their functionality next next one real time systems real time system means in real real time means they, they should work in real time that means in specific amount of time the task should be completed understand those comes under the real time systems embedded systems in which some specific task has to be done in a specific period specific period this is important specific period are called real time systems real time system means the task should be completed in specific period okay. next they have some time constraints that means they should have some deadlines meeting the deadlines is the most important requirements of real time systems for example anti breaking system automatically brakes should be applied to the vehicle that there is an obstacle consider it is a real time operating system what happens if brakes are not applied accident will occur it may affect the human life understand so meeting the deadlines is the most important requirements in real time systems it should be done in specific amount of time next the real time system should not miss the deadlines or task said so, no for example to consider a nuclear plant safety system missing a deadline may cause loss of life or damage to property no nuclear plants may cause loss of life or damage if there is any failure so this comes under real time systems for example Missile embedded with tracking system, flight control system, nuclear plane safety system, navigation system. These are all comes under the real time systems. Next, network information appliances. Network information appliances means they are connected to the network. For example, LAN, WAN, etc. comes under the networks information appliances. Embedded systems that provide state with a network interfaces. and accessible to the networks such as local area networks and internet so connected to internet are called as a network information appliances they are connected to internet such as such embedded systems are connected to the network typically a network running tcp ip protocols would come under this category okay transmission control protocol and internet protocol so comes under this category they run the complete tcp ip protocol stack 
and can communicate with other nodes on the network. Such a connected network node, they can communicate with the other nodes with the help of protocol. Protocol means some rules. If you are following some rules for communication, it is called as a protocol. With the help of some protocol, they can connect to other devices in a network. So, you are called as a network information appliances. Let us see an example. A network process control system, a web camera which is connected to the internet, IoT applications, IoT, all the IoT applications are internet based. No? These are all comes under the network information appliances. And lastly, mobile devices. See here. Mobile devices. Mobile devices means such as mobile phones, PDAs or personal digital assistants, etc. are a special category of these membrane systems. Mobile devices are capability of supporting high data rate services in addition to what your mobile devices support, your mobile phones. Using mobile phones, you know, what they support? They support voice services. Voice services means you can make the calls, you can access the internet, accessing internet services such as email, www, World Wide Webs. And they are capable of handling multimedia applications also. You are playing videos or video, you are playing games, you are listening to music. These are all supported by mobile devices. Understand? Next, the limitation of mobile devices is a small size, lack of good user interfaces such as full fledged keyboard and disco, memory constraints, battery lighting, etc. These are all comes to limitations of your mobile devices. This is the last category. Okay.